The President of the European Commission, Jean-Claude Juncker, was in Paris on January the 16th for his first bilateral visit to a European capital since the new European Commission took up office in November 2014. President Juncker was received by French President François Hollande at the Élysée. A few days after the deadly attack on the French satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo and the President's participation in the silent march in Paris to pay tribute to the victims, the two leaders talked about terrorist threats in Europe and the need for reinforced security and judicial cooperation among EU member states. Talks also covered the economic situation in the European Union. President Juncker also met with French Prime Minister Manuel Valls to outline the working programme of the European Commission, including the energy and digital agenda and the investment plan for Europe of 315 billion euros in private and public investment across the European Union. The Commission took a major step in the implementation of its plan by adopting on January the 13th the legislative proposal for the European Fund for Strategic Investments, which will be established in close partnership with the European Investment Bank. The fund is at the very heart of President Juncker's investment offensive to boost jobs and growth in Europe. Maintenant, le mécanisme est en place. Les gouvernements vont l'étudier et nous ferons savoir si telle est leur intention, dans quelle mesure ils comptent et par quel moyen ils comptent contribuer à la mise en place du capital de départ. President Juncker had lunch with former European Commission President Jacques Delors and spoke at the École Nationale d'Administration at the closing session of the Juncker promotion of European Studies students. He explained the new European Commission and its priorities for the next five years to teachers and students.